everybody, it's Esther and Danielle, and welcome to day five of Vlogmas. Vlogmas. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a Christmas tag that was dreamt up by Lydia Sen of Five for Five. I'll link her channel below. And while we answer the questions, we're going to be uh, working on some tags that I need to get done. All right, let's get started. Okay, there's what, 17 questions? Yes. All right, my lovely daughter, Danielle. You ask the questions while I work on these tags. Okay. What is your favorite things about Christmas? Or what are your favorite things, I guess? My favorite things, I love to decorate and I love to shop. I love when you have that person and you just don't know what to get them and you think and you think and you think and then you come up with the perfect idea. That's what I love. Okay. Number two. What is your least favorite thing? Uh, generally, uh, traveling through snow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What is your favorite Christmas movie? Oh, It's a Wonderful Life. It's just simply not Christmas without that. What's your favorite Christmas movie, Danielle? Um, there's so many. Probably the most recent one we watched is Elf. I like Elf. It's funny. <laughs> it is funny. But if I miss a year of watching Elf, that's okay. If I miss a year of watching It's a Wonderful Life, it just won't feel like Christmas to me. We'll have to get the DVD. Yeah. Okay, next one. Has it ever snowed on Christmas where you live? Yes. Yes. <laughs> not every year. And, you know, thankfully, so traveling's not so bad, but some years, yes, it has. Yep. What is your favorite Christmas song? Well, I had to think about this one. If you were going to go, um, you know, a more traditional Christmas song, I would choose like Joy to the World because that's such a beautiful song. Or like Away in a Manger. Or Silent Night. <laughs> <laughs> or well, anything like that. But if you're going to go for funny, <laughs> Dominic the Donkey. <laughs> I love that one. If you have not heard Dominic the Donkey, I will try to find a video on YouTube and link it below. It's funny. It's really funny. Or the the hippopotamus. hippopotamus one. I think the hippopotamus, I want a hippopotamus. I think that's a little more well known than Dominic the Donkey, but Dominic the Donkey, that just cracks me up. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> what is your most memorable childhood Christmas memory? <sighs> What's your most memorable, Danielle? I don't know. Yikes. Do you have a memorable? Christmas? I don't know. Well, I doubt you remember this. I'm sure you don't. But the year that Tickle Me Elmo was the big hot thing and people were going crazy and lining up at stores and, uh, you know, it was selling for hundreds and hundreds of dollars on eBay and stuff like that. Well, that year, your grandmother uh, got you a Tickle Me Elmo for Christmas. And I, I was so tickled. I couldn't believe that she got it. <laughs> but she had bought it ahead of that whole rush, thinking that would be a good gift for you. And it was. Where's my pin? My glue is clogged. As always. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, what tradition do you look forward to the most? <sighs> That's a hard question. Because, yep. you know, I look forward to decorating the tree. Well, honestly, our tradition for Thanksgiving is to watch the parades, eat food, and the minute that food, the food is done and put away and cleaned up, we start decorating for Christmas. And watching Christmas and movies. And watching Christmas movies. And that, that's probably my favorite tradition. Yeah. When do you decorate for the holidays? 
Well, <laughs> literally the minute the food's put away after Thanksgiving. <laughs> Is your tree real or fake? Well, owing to the fact that I have about a billion allergies to about everything on the planet, <laughs> um, it's fake. One year, my parents had a real tree, and I spent the entire Christmas season sneezing, wheezing, sniffling. It was not good. <laughs> so, no, I have, in, in my entire adult life, I've never had a real tree. Why is my glue all clogged? I don't know. Me and this glue, I love it so much, <laughs> but this glue tip makes me crazy. Yeah. What is your all-time favorite holiday dish that's not a dessert? Ham. We always have ham at Christmas. I like that. Yeah. That's good. I'm not big on the sides, like, so. Oh, yeah, you've got the wipe. Okay. What is your all-time favorite holiday dessert? Peanut butter balls. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> We're alike, <laughs> Dino. Yeah. Boy, that just does not want to come out. Go-to gift for the hard to shop for. There's several hard to shop for people. Yes. The worst one is your father. Yeah. Because he doesn't ever want anything. He likes candy. Yes, he does. But no, my go-to gift, really, I mean, if I really can't figure it out, I'm, I'm going to get a gift card. I hate doing that, so I, I don't always do that. But, yeah, I spend a lot of time trying to figure it out. And I'm not saying what Matt's getting for Christmas because he'll watch this video. Mm -hmm. But, uh, oh, he's going to freak out. <laughs> yeah, he's going to like it. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Um, huh. I've gotten a lot of good gifts. I'm trying to think of what the best one would be. The best ones I really ever got were the ones that you kids would make for me when you were little. I loved those. <laughs> All right. Okay. Do you have a favorite Christmas gift you've gotten? Mm, I liked them all. Well, that's good because... Uh, Santa works really hard to make sure you get good <laughs> Christmas gifts. Okay, wrapping paper or gift bags? I will resort to a gift bag if it's really difficult to wrap. Or... I wrapped some funky shaped stuff. Yeah, but mostly, yeah, <laughs> wrapping paper. But I have been known to wrap in... Uh, <laughs> Duct tape, chicken wire. A wooden box. Yeah, we screwed our nephew's gift one year into a wooden box. He had to go get tools to get it out of the house also. Wasn't there tools in the box? Um, I, or was it like a hat or something? I think I had, there was, I forget what was in it, but that was funny. But it was funny. Puzzle boxes that you have to solve before you can open it. Yeah, you gave those to people and then I got one of those back. I know. A couple was, years ago. That was awesome. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Uh, hot cocoa or eggnog? You know, I think. This is Might not lining up. Twisted or something. It's not lining up right. Okay, hot cocoa. Was it hot cocoa or eggnog? Yeah. No, oh, I can't stand eggnog. So yeah, hot cocoa. I've been seeing lots of people. It lines up. Lots of crafty people doing these hot cocoa stations. I like hot cocoa. 
If I had room for a hot cocoa station, I would. But I saw the coolest thing, Danielle. What? It, some of the people's hot cocoa stations, they're setting out bowls of candy to drop in the... Uh, to drop in the mug before you put the hot cocoa in. And one person had Lindor truffles on there. Ooh, Can you imagine a good. Lindor truffle down in the bottom of your hot cocoa? That, that sounds, sounds good. so good to me. Yeah. Well, you're confusing yourself because they're cooking. They don't. Okay. There. That's better. Okay, Who what, do you spend what, the holidays? What number are we on? 16. Who do you spend the holidays with? Uh, well, Christmas is the one holiday that my husband is guaranteed to be home. So, obviously I spend it with him. And we usually go to my mother-in-law's. You missed a spot. Well, it doesn't need to be completely. I know, but you I missed I glued the wrong thing again. Well, that's okay. This is what I get for doing this while I'm talking. The glue dries clear. And do you make any New Year's resolutions? Yes. Do you, Danielle? No. Yes, you do. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> The better question would have been, do you keep your New Year's resolutions? Why'd you turn that one? That's the same set. Well, I'm not trying to put not to put glue all once they have a little glue sticking out of it over there. Okay, uh, that's all the questions. Well, my, but in answer to do you keep your New Year's resolutions, my answer would be, yeah, no, because no. I've made the same one every year for about <laughs> the past... Well, let's see. I'm 46 years old. Shocker. <laughs> and I've been making this resolution since I was about uh, old enough to know I needed to do this. So maybe 10. I make the same resolution to lose weight every year. And uh, yeah. It doesn't happen. Not usually. I do that too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's all the questions. So that's all the questions. If you want to do this tag... Um, yeah, go ahead and do it. Leave the, uh, I'll leave the, uh, I will leave <laughs> the questions in the box below. And let's see, who am I going to tag to do this? Well, one of my favorite people to tag, Tammy Dunn. <laughs> Love you, Tammy. <laughs> and I'm going to tag, uh, Misha, Scraps and Things 1. And um, I think I will tag my friend Gareth. Gareth at G's Creations. So I'm tagging all of you, and I hope you take the challenge. All right, everybody. You know you the drill. You should tag some of your living weird people. Well, a lot of people watch me on both channels. Oh, okay. So it's a lot of the same people watch me both times. I know Tammy does watch both channels. Okie dokie. So, whether you're watching this on Living Weird or you're watching this on Craft Corner with Esther C, I would just want to say thank you so much. I appreciate that. If you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Now you guys know the drill. Address, phone numbers, ways to contact us, and a link to the channel you're not currently watching will be in the description box below. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how to make it easy. <laughs> Love you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>